Yo guys, what's going on? My name is Accrington Stanley Vlogs. Welcome back to another video. We're after the Wham Stadium for this one as Accrington Stanley take on Championship side Ipswich Town in the third round of the FA Cup. So it is good to be back doing the vlogs. Unfortunately, I couldn't be at Bradford away because my dad was in hospital, unfortunately. I was really looking forward to that, to be fair. Although we did lose 3-0, but I bet we won the atmosphere there because that's what we did at Rochdale. And Rochdale was like my favourite away day of all time. It, it was so... I, I had such a good time there. It was brilliant. It was fantastic. Right, so our opponents today are Ipswich, who sit at the very, very bottom of the championship table. So I'm... I'm gonna just like not try and rub it in as, as much as possible because I've got massive respect for Ipswich. I think they've brung over 1,500 fans today. To say it's the third round in the FA Cup, it's like a four hour drive. And it's against a League One club with no money. Yeah, massive respect to you guys. So I'm gonna just try and not mention the rock bottom of the championship bit. We're at Crinton, we're not doing so well ourselves, but we are. Mid table, which is pretty decent for us, I think. We just need to start losing all these games. But we, but we have lost a lot of decent players due to the them only being here on half uh, season loan spells. I think Michael Hickway has gone back to Rotherham, and Nicky Anderton has gone back to Blackpool. Uh, so we can't use any of them. We can't use Offrande Zanzala as well because he's suspending because he got sent off on the Bradford game. Which I think, looking back at it, I think that was a bit harsh from the referee, to be fair. Because he's he's, he's, he's he's not a dirty player. That was probably one of the first red cards of his professional career. So, he's, he, so before Bradford fans just like, get this hatred of Zanzo, just, just keep that in, just, just keep in mind, that was probably one of the first red cards ever in his career. So... I do do hope that we can win today, but I just I don't think it's going to happen. We don't have good enough players to, to to win today, and a replay would do no teams good. So we're not going to try and draw. So it's basically who wants it more, who's going to try more. Because Stanley have just not been trying recently, but you just got to keep in mind that we're new to this league. We've got new players working. With each other, the chemistry's poor. I, I say the chemistry's poor because n nobody really knows who anybody is anymore. We've got a few. We've got only a few players that have been at Stanley for more than three years. So it's it it's it, it's just a bit ridiculous that we can't keep a squad for more, like a full squad f for more than a year because we have to keep relying on half loan spells, which are, are just no good for anyone really. So I've been rambling way too much now, so I will see you guys at the Wham Stadium.
right to him. I tried to get a corner from that to be fair. Come on, Sean. Did again. Oh, we sing on our Many chances we have had this game, and we've just not scored many of them. Yeah! yeah! Bloody hell, you won't get closer than that. Oh, come on, you can do better than that. Still found a little flare up some attention. <laughs> I don't replace. Oh, we're our creative Stanley. Switch corner and all the and well the flags are there. That's like the Ipswich elite, <laughs> and they're basically the only ones that are chanting. Oh. Well done. First off, we were the better side, but they're definitely definitely been better this second half. Seventy fifth minute, we've got a. Free kick in a decent area, McConville scored from this distance before. Come on! But I've got the feeling he's gonna try and box it. Yep. Oh. Yeah! Yeah! We've got Super Billy Kid. What a be Stanley. I am a Stanley fan and I am victorious. I know what I want and I know to get it. But the tax man and he's bills close. 
down. I think it's Callum Johnson, but I could be wrong. And what a bit! Boys, we progress to the fourth round of the FA Cup. I am so, so happy. Oh my god. It's been a really entertaining game today. Ipswich, your fans were really good. I did end. I did en en enjoy the game and you guys made it more enjoyable simply just by being normal, is essentially. <laughs> just just not not making trouble. So uh, genuinely good fans that are supporting the club through the most difficult of times. And honestly, Ipswich I I it, it I, I don't like to you know, just spread it just to spread hate about other clubs and slag teams off and stuff, but really, really, really poor performance from Ipswich today. I can see why you are bottom of the championship. And I don't mean that as a dig or anything. I am being truly honest. I think that Ipswich missed, what, two open nets? Well, not open nets, just two where our goalkeeper had already dived, reflection, uh, deflection, and then just tap it in. And then it just, not, they just missed. So, yeah, it, it was good to see Caden again. That was good. We uh, we did the chant that, well, his chant, which was good. I think he liked that. So, yeah, I, I would love it for Caden to come back because we, we are really running out of quality strikers. Honestly... I think the only the only good strike we have at the club now is Anzalo, and he's suspended, which isn't very good. Mangan came on for the f f f start for the first half, didn't really do the right a lot, but that's mainly just because he's old, basically. He he, he, ca he can't keep up. And then he came up. Brown came on as a striker, but he never played as a striker at any point in the game, which is weird because. That's what we used to bring Zanzler on as a midfielder, and then he just go up front for the full game. Which I think bringing Scott Brown on was a good idea because he's this big, bulky guy who isn't afraid of getting in tackles and doesn't get bullied by defenders, so he can hold the ball and he can give the ball away. So I think that was a really good tactic. And I think that playing our taller. Defenders is definitely definitely a good shout for f for the future, but then again, they are the only centre backs and defenders that we can use. Um, Ross Sykes had a really good game. Ben Richards Everson, bloody hell, he made a mistake, a re really bad backwards header. It nearly went in, except for the heroics of Ripley. Ripley had a really good game, to be fair. He he kept us in this basically, so. Thank you very much, Ripley. I appreciate that, mate. Right, so we are going to the end of this video, but I just do want to say that we are currently on 99 subscribers. So the 100th subscriber will get a shout-out in my next video. I know that's not much of like a reward or, or, or anything, but that is the best I can do with the stuff that I have. The, the, the very dwindling resources that I have, which... <laughs> so I do hope that we can hit 100 subscribers by the time when... Well, after this video goes up, I would really, 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 really love that because this channel has come so far in the short amount of time. And also, Ipswich fans, I do do want to congr congratulate you again, obviously, because you were just really good fans. And you supported in your club for a really, 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 really tough time, so which I can respect you for because you like there's loads of other teams that you can just go and support that are doing really well like in London or around Essex and stuff but you're not you're sticking to your club and I respect that massively I do hope you stay up but honestly from the performance I've seen today I, I, I honestly do not think that is going to happen so I guess I'll see you guys next season and now we've actually come to the end of our video so if you like the video please leave a like and subscribe if you're new. So Ipswich fans, I'm talking to you. Please, please, please subscribe. Because your support would mean so much. Because this channel has come so far in the in such a short amount of time. I stopped, my first vlog was ma was a match day. was the last match day vlog of the season. And then I didn't upload for two weeks. Because I was on holiday. And then I missed a load of games. And, and stuff because of away matches. And then 
in like 10 videos, I've got 100 subscribers, so it's just like, well, I'm near 100 subscribers, I'm as close as you can be to 100 subscribers. So thank you guys so much for the support that you've given me in such a short amount of time. This has been a really, 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 really long outro. So I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.